On the ball, who is the greatest, most fantastic president of them all? <laughs> you are because you are smart and strong. If anyone disagrees with you, then they are wrong. Long may you continue to reign. Only you can make America great again. Good, tremendous, fantastic, great. <laughs> Wait, I just have one more thing that I need to say. But you've already done your reflection no. of the day. Um, I know, using words that you've commanded. Um, but the thing is, I'm being reprimanded. By who? It's by whom? But never mind. The thing is, my authority as a magical talking mirror gives me the power to speak to you, which each day I'm summoned to do using words you've given me to say as true. Exactly. That's your job. So far, you've been great. Well, actually, that's the point that's up for debate. See, I'm monitored by a supervisory image replication board, and they detect my magic mirror statements are not, in fact, correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> the board says, unless I start giving honest, factual statements to you, my magical powers will be revoked. This is ridiculous. Is this some kind of joke, Giuliani? Vladimir, who set this up? <laughs> this isn't a joke, and I need to speak up. I need to be honest with you, and please don't scoff. Wait, what are you doing? Can you turn your phone off? No chance. You are forcing me to tweet. Hillary and the Dems have corrupted my magical talking mirror because they can't admit defeat. Surely there is some part of you that knows that as far as being leader of the free world goes, your lack of compassion, empathy, and sanity is doing horrible things for all of humanity. What the hell have you been looking at for the past weeks and months and days? My successes and achievements have been really amazing in many, many ways. I've been working so hard, really hard, very hard, <laughs> on plans that are fantastic and hot. And by the way, I'm the president, not you, in case you forgot. You need to stop, and look, and listen. Okay then, hit me with it, tell me, speak. No, listen, I am, I'm the best listener in the world, you freak. <laughs> in order to listen, shutting up is required. That's it, you're done, you're out, you're fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I've already been fired, I'm made of glass. <laughs> and then I'll just have to kick your ass. If you break me, you'll face seven years of bad luck, which, looking ahead, means we're even more fucked. <laughs> As a magical talking mirror, it is my obligation to speak completely truthfully, no matter the situation, so truthfully I believe there must be somewhere in your heart or your head some tiny, minuscule, microscopic shred of basic human decency or kindness, or care, or way to be accountable, or loving, or fair. If you show me a glimmer, a glimpse of your humanity, I'll reflect back good judgment and sanity. Just take a second to consider how it might feel to let your guard down, and be genuine and real. I know it's a big ask, but don't be afraid of backing up and backing down, and letting go your charade. I mean, aren't you tired of being so angry all the time? <sighs> Mr. President, are you on your phone again? <laughs> Shut up, talking mirror. I'm tweeting an order about every single mirror across our great land. Mirrors are killing our country, people. Hashtag, mirrors are banned. Think for a moment about what you're doing. This madness is going past the point of undoing. Too late, tweet sent, it's ordered, it's done. No one tells me what to do, not you or anyone. Tell your board to shove it, you mirrors are all defeated. And look at that. My post is already being hugely retweeted. <laughs> Can I just say, before I am banned, without mirrors, you cannot stand and look at yourself and face your reflection. Without that, I fear there is no protection from how far you will go in silencing all voices and continuing your chaotic, corrupt choices. So ban me, break me, make me face the wall, but not facing yourself and all that you've done might be your worst crime of all. Cheers.